Before I wrap this project up, I know that there's one spot that could use a sound effect, and that's when it's mentioned about the beating heart. Now, when I recorded the sound effect of the knocking, that was easy to do just with the microphone, and I could just knock on the desk. Getting a beating heart, that's going to be difficult for me to record with the microphone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one of the websites that I'm providing. So one's by the BBC and one's called Sound Bible, and I'm going to find a recording of a beating heart to actually put in there. Before I show you that, let's find that spot. And I know that is in verse 3, so I'm going to jump ahead with my cursor to verse 3. Then I'm going to press play and just find that spot that mentions the, the heartbeat. And the silken the sad, silken uncertain, uncertain rustler of, of each purple each curtain, curtain thrilled me, thrilled, thrilled me with thrilled fantastic, me with terrors, fantastic never terrors never felt never before. Felt. So that now, so that now tis still tis the beating, still of, the my beating heart. of my heart. All right, right there. So that's the spot that mentions the beating heart. All right, so now let's go get that recording. So I'm going to leave GarageBand, go to Numbers. And in the Learn tab, there's going to be two really good websites uh, to find royalty-free sounds that you can use in projects like this. So the first is by the B BBC, the British Broadcasting Company, and the other one is called Sound Bible. So I'm just going to demonstrate by going to the BBC website. And we'll open that. It might take a minute, minute to load. And then I'm going to search for, I'm just going to type in heartbeat. So I have some different options here. I think the best one is going to be this human heartbeat, 58 beats per minute one. And just to check my theory, I'm going to just preview that by pressing the play button. Oh yeah, so that's going to be good. And I'm going to press this download button and just confirm. Yes, I want to download. And you can see up here at the top, that file is downloaded or downloading. And here it is in my downloads folder. Uh, so it's given a number. So I just want to make note of that and that it's in my downloads folder. So from here, I'm going to jump back into GarageBand. I have the spot that mentions the beating heart. Uh, marked for me, so I'm going to go back into that loops icon. And this time, rather than going into Apple Loops, I'm going to select Files. And I'm going to go down and browse items from the Files app. And I'm going to select the file that I just downloaded. And again, you know, this is kind of difficult because it's a number, but I just want to make note of that number. So it's kind of ending in 16 here. Okay, now that should be added to the list. As you can see, uh, there are some other um, files that I downloaded in like other projects. But I want to download, I, I want to find that file that ends in 16 right here. So I'm going to do a long press on that. And... Drag it to the spot, about to the spot that mentions it. Now, you can see, I've got a little bit of a problem here, right? Um, that recording of that heartbeat goes on for like three minutes. So I can do a couple things here. Number one is I can grab it, um, find the end of this, and just drag it back, kind of like I'm doing here for the beginning. Or... I can take my cursor, and let's just say we, we want that to go maybe like that long. And if I tap on that recording, I can just say split, drag those scissors down like that, and now I have two separate heartbeat loops. So what I'm going to do is, because I just want a brief heartbeat, I'm just going to take that second one, tap on it again, and just delete it. So now I just have this one. So I'm just going to give this a quick listen, just make sure it sounds okay. Being of my heart, of my heart I, stood repeating, I stood repeating. Tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. Some late visitor entreating entrance. That's pretty good. 